Welcome to Rouhani Talks. I am joined by Don Gino Chakaruna with me, who is a Peruvian shaman. And in today's video, we have a very interesting question about ayahuasca. And that question is, what is ego death? And you might have heard um, or read somewhere that ayahuasca will show you your death if you keep working with it. So is it a good thing or bad thing, or is it the true thing or real thing, only John Gino, Don Gino will be able to answer that. So welcome, Gino. Um, I don't know about that. I'm just a little old man. <laughs> well, the ego, the ego, it's a very interesting question because at the end, the ego is the mind, it's created by the mind. You know, the, the brain is an organ. You can touch it, you can cut it, you can analyze it. What is the mind? You cannot touch it. The mind, in my view, is an accumulation of all your experiences until the day you are living. Information, experiences, bad ones or good ones, lessons, flaws, falling down, raising up, and whatever. School, university, whatever you have put there. It's an accumulation. And personality is just, for me, also like a layer. Because you can say that person has a shy personality, or that person has a very enthusiastic personality. It's just an approach to our life and also a layer like a bump, like the cars have a bump to go through society to protect you. So you wear that layer, you choose that layer. The ego, you know, it's very funny because if you do something wrong, yeah, yeah, that was my ego. But if you do something right, yeah, that's me. Huh? So uh, it's very, very tricky. Nevertheless, whatever uh, you can put the word mine or me, it's not you. My car, my house, my work, my money, my wife, it's your wife, my children, you own the children, my mind, even my soul. Who is saying my soul? Maybe that's the one that you are on top of the soul, my soul. Wow. So whatever you are not, mine or me is not you. The core, your identity with the spiritual realm through your higher self, your spirit that inhabits in your body through your soul, that is you. And that there's no ego. Ego is created by the false image of all these things that I have mentioned when you attach to it. Because then the ego inflates you. I have a big car, a Maserati in the door. Wow. It's okay, the car. What is wrong is to attach to and identify with that thing outside. If that thing is taken, who are you? Oh, there's no more car. I'm nobody. Or and then again, when you attach to things, that is the things you have, the things you do. Let's put a man from the parliament, four years. They have the red rock, bodyguards, and whatever, that they attach. The term is done, they go down. It's really a shock because they have identified of something they are not. You are not what you have. You know what you do. Of course, you know what you think. A thought is just a thought. Whatever it is, it doesn't matter. It just goes through. If you attach to that, then you're bringing it into yourself. So during ceremonies, one of the first things that happens is that the spirit of the mother breaks you down and breaks your ego so hard. 
that you come in ceremony like pride, yeah, I know this, yeah, I'm ready, I'm big fights out. And then the mother kicks you so hard and you, she shows you you're nothing. You're this little bacteria, even smaller than coronavirus. <laughs> Bringing that in because we're going through that. You're really nothing, you're a bacteria. But if you look harder, you will see behind that you're also this beautiful, shining, loving soul. And that is what you are. So she shows you on regard of what you think you are, the big Faisal or whatever, that you are not that big. You are this little, but you can be hugely big in the spiritual realm, in the spiritual level. And then that is the first step of awakening, what I explained the other day, when you can see that what you are living through making you believe your story. And then when that story is unveiled, that worth nothing, then you will start waking up to a different path of really living in reality, not to make believe of this one. At ease, simple, little, which doesn't mean that is opposite to abundance. Abundance is welcome. There's nothing wrong about it. But without detachment, things come and go. And at the end, nothing lasts forever. Even if you get everything you want, at the end, you will suffer anyway. Because that thing that you got, that was so thrive, you were so pursuing that, at the end, it will vanish, and then you will suffer again. So it's not rich who has the most, but who needs the less. So the ego dies in that way. Many people go through death in the ceremony, virtual death. Of course, some people die because they go in hands, not the right hands. and. Uh, they put themselves really in such a risk because it's the whole you, it's your body, your emotions, this beautiful treasure, your mind that can be contaminated in your spirit in the, in the hands of this shaman, facilitator, sitter, guide, whatever. So that is something you need. Who, who would you like in what? <laughs> At the end, <laughs> this just came right now. In which hands would you like to die that protect you through your death? That's awesome. That is very important. So the shaman will guide you through your death and will bring you back. The other reason is called the vine of the death is because the spirit of the mother will really, really take you to the very edge of your life and will show you your actual death and then you will totally drop the fear of dying many people die once twice three times the other thing that dies is the old jew which is attached to this ego and that is the main thing you come believing that you are this person, persona, comes from the Latin, means persona, means mask. So after this death, mask, this mask will fall down. People have so many masks that you see, ah, oh, yes, I felt this mask coming down. Um, this is me. And the man the mother looks, really? I don't think so. You look better. And there is another mask. And there is another mask. Until really, really after work, and you are peeled like an onion, layer after layer, mask after mask, you can get to the real core. So you might have now to do more than one ceremony. It depends uh, how many masks yeah. you have. 
Yeah, yeah one ceremony is nothing. But it's, it's good, it's good. At the end, everything that you are not will die. Uh -huh. That is the message. There was one case of this woman. She came to the Amazon, terminal cancer. And we are, I had to do the interview and I said, so I know the story, of course, you have terminal cancer. So what are you expecting? Why are you here? And she said, well, I know I'm going to leave this body soon. I'm going to die. I come here because I want to die before I die. That was wow. really, really good. Why did she want to die? Everything that she was not, so the real she could die. That was a beautiful message. That is, yeah, that is beautiful, very powerful. And yeah, thank you for explaining the ego death and the death in ayahuasca. Um, that is exciting. So yeah, now. Well, thing, just to wrap it up, the thing is yeah. that this one that dies, remember, it will be, it has been with you for how long you have walked in this realm. 30 years, 40 years, 50 years. It's been there building up really rooted so making that to die is painful sometimes traumatic all the times needed and the real you will come all the people want to become somebody else oh i would like to be like him i would like to be like her but at the end the one you really want to be is already you it's there but covered with so many layers. Okay. And you're a beautiful being. You're more than enough. The thing is that the one that was there has was taken a space and the real one wants to come over. So this one really has to get out to create the space for the new one to really attach. And that is what takes time. And that is done through uh, work, in a space of time and through integration it's like a car which has gone through a lot of dirt driven in dirt and you look at yeah. it and it's so dirty but once you take it to the car wash which is ayahuasca you know <laughs> and then it's a beautiful color it shines <laughs> all right i think we're gonna end this video right here yes. and uh, we'll continue um talking about ayahuasca and ceremonies in the next upcoming videos. And viewer, if you have not watched other videos with Don Gino, please click on the links and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Thank you so much, Faisal. Thank you, viewers. See you soon.